got me swimming in oceans, bed sheets and champagne. Hi, my name's Ali Joseph. I am, an, I don't even know if I should say I'm an artist from Japan, from Michigan. I guess I'm from everywhere, anywhere you want me to be. And I've been making music for about, seriously, for about a year and a half now. Sex scenes and wet dreams, you embody that. Fly you out to Tokyo. I decided to start rapping because I, first off, it was just to be cool. I just wanted to, there's a guy named Lil B who still makes music, but at the time he was making like five songs a day. So he would just like turn on the microphone and record anything. So I was like, okay, I'll do the same thing. But it turned out I was really bad at it and it never really worked out in my favor. But um, artists like Waka Flocka and whatnot too, they make really hype music and I'm a pretty energetic individual um, when the time comes to be so I wanted I just wanted to be like them and they were people who I look up to so I've lived out in California now for eight months if I can do simple math right and since then, when I moved out there, I had like 2,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, and now I have like 27, so it just keeps on going up, 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 and that's only on one streaming service, so the connections that you can make out there where people, where everyone's trying to do the same thing you're doing, as opposed to here, where I was only releasing songs on SoundCloud, is it's crazy. I meet people every day, but just through connections, um, one thing that school didn't teach me that I think everyone should know is when people say it's not about uh, what you know, it's about who you know. That's 110% true. Anything I write about is what I'm going through exactly in that point of time. So it all has to do with graduating school and then not really knowing what you want to do past that because it's all planned out like you gotta I mean from an early age we're all just like you gotta go to school and you gotta get a job and then you're not really told what you have to do after that so I was always like okay once I graduate I gotta get a job and then what and I did that and I just wasn't really happy with it so cause I, I worked at a place and within like a month I had done everything that that job had to offer and it was like just the same thing day in and day out now it's the point where I'm just trying to do something completely unconventional and I think a lot of people want to do that, but they're scared to take the risk of actually throwing everything else away and trying to do that one thing that they want to do. And people who know me personally can be like, okay, I know him, I see what he's going through, and he's really out here doing it. So it's more of like a relatability factor. So yes, going to school definitely helped me in all of my topics that I write about.